Hey creatives, and welcome to Magical Mystical Mythical Monday. If we have never met before, my name is Kim and I'm a creative freelancer with a passion for film and the written word. And if we have met, welcome back. And on today's Magical Mystical Mythical Monday, we're talking mysticism. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we've talked about magic, we've talked about mythology, but we haven't even touched on mysticism. So I thought, let's discuss what it is and how you would create a character that encompasses the world of the mystic. So I will be giving you eight characteristics that you can use in all of them or some of them to create that character. But let's talk about mysticism. What is mysticism? Mysticism is a belief in that a union with the deity or power or energy, whatever you worship, can lead you to knowledge that is inaccessible in everyday world. And the way you do that is through contemplation, i.e. meditation, herbal teas, that kind of thing, and just self-surrender to your energy, your deity, your God. And so if you're creating a character that encompasses the world of mysticism, that would be their belief, that they would give themselves over, they would have a lot of quiet contemplation, trying to garner the wisdom that is not readily available to the masses. And so what kind of characteristics would, uh, would some character that you're trying to build into film or a written piece have that would delineate to the audience that they are a mystic? Well, I've got eight traits you can utilize and we'll get started now. So the first one, the first one is they value experience above all else, which means they would not have a lot of materialistic goods. They would live in a relatively sparse environment because they really think the important thing in life is experiences and meeting people and the lives you touch. So that would be a great characteristic. They would maybe if they're if they're traveling, they'd live out of their backpack. They'd stay in lower cost places. They would do a lot of, stay in a lot of retreats, meditational retreats, that kind of thing. So another trait would be that they question the, exi their, the existence. So why are we here? Why did that happen? Never to question their deity, their energy, their power, but to try to understand what the purpose of their life is. So questioning existence is a huge characteristic that I would utilize pretty, pretty regularly if your character is supposed to be leaning towards mysticism. So another trait would be they were comfortable with uncertainty because their power, who, whatever they worship, leads them. So they know that nothing is for sure, that they tend to go, they're, un, they're comfortable with uncertainty. They know that everything happens for a reason. So being a little uncertain about where they'll wind up tomorrow is not a big problem. These would, so a character would not have, in 20 years, this is where I'm gonna be. The character would have, like, in two minutes, this is where I'm gonna be. So not very planned out, not very structured, just kind of go with the flow kind of attitude. Which leads me to the next one, which is they kind of just believe in intuition. Because oftentimes, if they are into mysticism or they are a mystic, they believe that their power, their God, their entity guides them. So the feeling you get in your stomach when you're making a decision that tells you you should do one thing or the other is that energy saying that is the path you should go. So being okay with their intuition is key, a key characteristic. In other words, they're just kind of a go with the flow kind of character. So that leads me to another one where they tend to, so a mystic, or a uh, character based in mysticism would live by their own rules, right? So they would never tell someone else how they should react. They should, they just, they just live with what they think the world should be, right? So that one's a little bit more tricky and sometimes um, depending on where the story that you're writing is, is depicted could be a challenge but that is, they live by their own rules. Like they can't tell anybody else how to live their life, they can only live their life. And that is an important key aspect of mysticism. Another thing is they tend to value internal growth. So a character that you're writing might be really into reading, you know, philosophy, reading self-help book, meditating, like just anything that's gonna grow them internally, both emotionally and mentally, that is something that's a key aspect of mysticism, no matter what type of mysticism you're in. So that I think would be one that I'd almost say has to be one of the characters you have to use just because it is such a key aspect. Another thing that you could use to drive your character, 
uh, to create a, a more rounded character was that they believe that they're the conduit, not the power. So basically anything that happens comes through them. Anything that they do comes from the energy of their spirit, their deity, or the, the one that they worship. So, it, you know, if it's earth, then that energy is not theirs. They are borrowing it from the earth to do whatever they need to do. This would be really great, especially in like, like anything that's like magic based, like that uses mysticism as magic. That would be key. Like the energy comes through them. That's not theirs. It could go away at any time. Hence their comfortability with uncertainty. And then the last one I think is kind of um, important. Sometimes maybe hard to verbalize in a, in a character, whether it be in film or written word. And that is they think human emotion, love, passion, happiness, that is the source of life. So a character who is a mystic would be very open with their emotions, very accepting and empathetic and sympathetic. So the, guys, those are some of the traits that you can utilize to create a character, a well-rounded character that is a mystic or, or into mysticism. I hope you enjoyed the, the video and in the comments below, leave me your favorite character that deals with the mystical arts minus Dr. Strange. I know, I'm a nerd. But anyways, leave, leave the, your, your favorite character down below. I'd be interested to see. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're digging on Magical Mystical Mythical Monday, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please remember, I post every day by 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every day is a different show, but they all have to do with film and the written word. And until next time, creatives, safe journeys.